What's up guys? Welcome to my vlog. Me and River, River's sitting here and drawing a picture. And uh, I'm trying to edit this video. As you can see, I'm doing my Bible, starting out in the morning, doing my Bible plan on the Bible app. And I'm getting my hot tea ready, got my eggs ready. Um, seeing garage is rolling up. And uh, we're going to get the truck started. We're going to get this day started. Um, got to get that window a little defrosted. River, what you drawing over there? You got to draw me something real nice. You got to keep coloring this. Oh, yeah. The Snapper Pro hat. I used it the whole year in 2020, I think, for my work hat. It's time to let that bad boy go. Look, I got a brand new hat from Arn in Lawn Care. He gave it to me a while back. Um, Mr. Reams, he's a great guy. I'll put his channel down below. Um, and uh, so, this first yard we're at. Um, I made the mistake of filming the whole day and uh, the whole bit. Um, but the thing about it is, is that it makes it way too long even after I edit clips I want to edit. And so I'm going to have to, you know, show like maybe half the day. But that's all right. Hey, the more video we got, the better, right? Because I'm, you know, trying to make good videos for you guys. So I wanted to show you guys mulching up this uh, natural area. Uh, with the mulch kit on man this thing especially if you take it nice and slow this thing does amazing this is deep right here you can hear the engine kind of kicking down because um, it's deep it's deep stuff you'll see in a minute when I turn this thing around here see those rocks actually are under those leaves and they go all the way over to that tree so I can't swing it in there I actually come back later and clean that off with my blower even though I already had the blower out Oh, I'm messing up stuff here, Tony. There we go. Fixed it back. No harm, no foul. Right? So anyway, I went ahead and blew this property first with the blower. Like, blew all the stuff over here. See what? I mean, this is this is bad. Pine straw and junk mixed together. It's deep. It's hard to tell on video, but it's deep. It's stuff that's been, you know, the neighborhood's blown off the road and just all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to get my pin out of there on three and a half. Because uh, some places I like, I try to just mulch with leaving it all the way up, but some places I want to bring it down just a little bit lower than that. And um, you can see I got all the grass and all that nice and clean already. And uh, blue stuff in here. You see the rain's washed that down. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good amount of leaves right here. And I wanted this, this natural area bed to be looking nice and fresh. So we... Uh, you know, I go all around in here and mulch it up. We, I do have drip line irrigation going to this magnolia tree, which I planted last year. That little magnolia tree. But um, if you keep that deck all the way up, you know, I should be out of range of it. Um, so anyway, down here by the lake. Um, pardon me, I'm trying to... Oh boy. <laughs> trying to get this right on my head mount thing. Um, trying to get some video for you guys, so... But anyway, so I'm down here at the lake. You see all those million and grass plants on that hill? I already cut those last visit I was here. I cut all those back. And um, so now I'm trying to get these beds in shape. As you see, I got the grass looking perfect, edged it up, cleaned it up. So I blew all that stuff up that steep bank, and so it's all piled up right here. And I'm going real slow. I don't know how Um, Because when I'm going real slow, it won't, you know, I can do it in one pass, even though that's like, you know, foot deep or whatever it is um, maybe even more than that I can do it in one pass if I go real slow you know it bunches up in the front but you kind of back up and if you go real slow like I said it, it destroys the leaves so if you go slow and be patient with it you can wait and um, it'll work um, so River you had something you wanted to say? Yeah, they seen you in the beginning of this video. He's saying that he rode his tractor and his gator. And the tractor is pretty awesome. Your tractor is pretty awesome? Make sure you speak up so they can hear you. you got to talk loud. I got a four-wheel and a gator and a tractor and a four-wheel. And even 
Yeah. 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 Good job, buddy. So. Yeah. So as. Yeah. So as you guys seen, I got that area looking real nice down there. Um. You know. Oh yeah. Got to get a good slurp of that tea. We got that area, all that area down there looking really sharp. As you can see, I, because I kind of fast forwarded till I got more of a finished product on it. And uh, yeah, we really, really, really got it looking good. Um, so what we got going on here is I, they used to have me top, you know, top these off six inches up from where I cut them last year, like cut, you know, cut the whole tree back. And I used to do that for years and they, you see, as you can see, they're having problems for some reason of the the limbs laying over, and they don't like that, so they want to try to make them go straight up. So, per the customer's request, I'm cutting all these ones off that are kind of laying sideways. Just cutting them off just like this. That's how they want to do it, and so that's what I'm doing for them. And uh, I mean, these crepe myrtles, it doesn't really matter what you do. I mean, these things are going to live regardless. But you know, it's so funny because they they vary. You know, I could go five doors down and people want me to do something completely different with their crepe myrtles. So, you know, I'll do whatever they want. I don't care. They're paying the, paying our, you know, our maintenance bill. So, as you can see, I use my uh, hedge trimmer to knock off some of them high up, you know, sideways leaning ones. And it works great. I was showing you here because these, these suckers here are like 10 foot tall. You know, even where I'm cutting it off right there. You know, I'm up on near the top of my six foot ladder. So these are kind of big ones. So pretty thankful I don't have to be climbing. Usually I'm all climbing around in these, you know, every year I'm climbing around in them. I don't know if you can see, but this is like just only a few inches away from the foundation in this corner back here. And it's really hard to walk behind here and to trim in the front in the summer. So I'm helping myself out and got that one out of that back corner. Got, you know, cut one or two of those stalks out so it'll make it easier for me when we come time for summer when we got to trim it all. And as you can see, there's all the crepe myrtle limbs that I cleaned up from all my uh, sideways, you know, crepe myrtle limb trimming deal. And um, so we got all that loaded in the truck. You know, that's yard number two. And so we're on to the next one. All right, yard number three right here. Um, like I said, I apologize. I don't have the entire day in my video here. Uh, it's only like, just kind of like half of it. Um, but y'all stay tuned. I'll get that other one right out as well. But um, but yeah, I mean, this video's not over. There's still, we're only halfway, but I got, you know, a lot more to share even from this one day, but, um, which was today. So I guess it was yesterday by the time you're seeing this video, because I'm gonna try to put it out in the morning, Tuesday morning, so this was all yesterday. You see that roof down there, all that pine straw, I'm gonna have to get up on that. You know, it's like a three-story roof. But I have to climb up there and it's kind of steep on the back parts too. Blowing these all these shrubs out for like the millionth time this year. You know, I clean all their bushes out and everything. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, you know, when I because I come to this yard bi-weekly, junk blows all right back in here from neighbors' properties and stuff, you know. It's just how it is. So like, you know, I've already cleaned these out like a million times this year. But hey, I get paid year round so that's a you know it's a good thing it's a good thing i need to not complain i'm not complaining anyway really but and this is just a little bit more down you know same yard down at the lake um it's hard to tell on camera but there's actually there's a few leaves and pine cones and stuff on there and i'm gonna blow those those ones to the right blow those over into that wooded area and then do the same thing over here you know shoot them straight over that way and so that's why I'm working on corralling them. Won't bore y'all watching all that process. You can see that's where I was out there on that point. Now this is a big rock bed. And uh, what happens is, is when it rains hard, mulched up leaves and stuff comes down that hill and it gets all caught in these uh, rocks. And so they, that's one of the things I do here is I always make sure I clean this out like when I come. And uh, that's the neighbor's prop. Well, that's actually my customer's property about 10 feet on the left and on the right. Um, as you can see, they got it mulched up real fine over there. I got mine mulched up just with the highest setting to the right because they don't put any pine straw or anything in that area. So I don't want to mulch it too fine. 
you know, because then there won't be nothing in there and it'll be weeds out of control when we come time for growing season. And I actually end up mulching it up a little more um, just to make it look a, you know, a little more uniform with the neighbor's property. So I mulch it up a little more here in a minute. But uh, yeah, so like, you know, this is like mulched up leaves that are compacted, you know. And um, so I'm pretty surprised that the BR600 actually does pretty good with it. You know, when the valves are adjusted correctly and stuff, it actually does pretty well, um, you know, with the whole deal. And um, another thing I do, so it'd be big clumps. As you can kind of see I'm doing here, it's hard to do with one hand. But um, there'll be big clumps that come down the hill in you know, like these big old spots. You see, and I'll like pick up all the clumps and kind of re-spread out the mulched up stuff um, to make this look right again. And uh, we had like a big rain, like maybe um, somewhere around Christmas time or so. Still down, same yard down the back. As you can see, customers they pile up little piles for me gifts I call them <laughs> they left me some gifts here and they want me to pick it up so started looking out because you'll see it in a second but I don't know what it is but there's like this um boat and on the front of the boat it has like this snow plow looking thing you see it and it's just like that's what I'm kind of looking at because it's like on that boat I'll try to show it here in my camera I don't know I don't think it's GoPro I don't know how to zoom in with it while recording but it's got like this snow plow thing in front. It's like shooting the water out of this uh, tube thing out of the back. I don't know if he's like cleaning the water or what it is. I've literally never seen one of those boats before. And I've lived at this lake for 20 years. And I've never seen that. So I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was crazy though. Hey, at least I got it on camera. That's cool. This is steep right here. It's hard to do, you know, trying to hold on to the camera. But... The front of the mower, even though it's a stand-on mower, is like popping up. It's like a big old bank right there. You can see this all kind of sloped down to where I was, blowing off these rocks over here. And um, and so, we're uh, what are you doing with this boat? Okay, you want to set it down here? Um, so anyway, so we're finishing up on these lawns here. About to load up. And uh, yeah. It's a, it was a good day. It's cold, cold and rainy. I don't know if you can tell that on here, but especially later, you know, second half of the day started getting rainy. And there's my ladder. It's like a 22, 25 footer, you know, and I can so I can do a lot of roofs and stuff with that. And uh, guys, what is up? What is up? So let's give a. Uh, it's starting to rain too, and it's cold. It's cold, cold and raining. You know, but that's all right. We're at yard number five and six here. Um, I want to give a couple shout outs just to people that left comment on my videos recently. So keep it mode. Great guy. Check out his channel. Um, lawn dude, lawn maintenance, Efren Vinegas, um, Wayne's lawn care, Little's lawn care, Logan Simpson, Mike Zavitz, Gary Cecil Garrison. How you doing, buddy? All these guys are super cool logan simpson he nuck beckley he had like some uh great tips on one of my last videos um about the migraines and stuff jay's crazy cuts matt lawn commander how you doing bud minnesota lawn and landscape how you doing sir john's daily hustle the lawn care life in missouri goes on and on but anyway i hope you guys are doing great um you know Look, I got, me and my wife, we uh, got some uh, different kinds of nuts. My wife actually made this for me. Different kinds of nuts with some uh, dried cranberries in there. Like, mixed in. We kind of made our own trail mix, I guess, what you would call it. And a uh, healthy, good, healthy snack for out here on the route. So we're about to get back to it. But I just wanted to uh, see how you guys are doing. It's raining a little, but we're going to keep going because it ain't, it's not raining that bad. Not that much, it's just a little bit, but it just is cold though. But yeah, 2021 is going to be a great year. And uh, yeah, going to be a busy year for lawn care, lawn service for sure. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. So thank you guys for uh, watching my videos. And uh, let's keep moving. 